Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at the gamma distribution. So, the annual rainfall in inches in western Colorado is modeled by a distribution with the following cumulative distribution function. So here we have f of x, and that is equal to 1 minus e to the minus 0.2x time, uh, minus 0.2 times x to the power of e to the minus 0.2x minus 0 0.02, just watch out for that there, that's 0 0.2, that's 0 0.02 x squared times e to the minus 0.2x, where x is between 0 and infinity. Now, we're going to be told explicitly that this is a gamma distribution, but otherwise we might actually have to sort of just check it and sort of confirm it a bit. But we'll just, we'll do that very briefly. But what we're asked to do here is state the rate and shape parameter, okay, of the gamma distribution. And then later on, what we're going to do is in a year, in a year which the rainfall is below above 20 inches, Okay, determine the probability that the rainfall is above 30 inches. So that's a straightforward conditional probability. Now this is the key part here. The random variable t follows a gamma distribution with shape parameter n. Okay, we're going to use n and lambda in this case, but there is actually also alpha and beta in other formulations. And more or less it's a straight swap for alpha and beta. So uh, alpha and beta. Okay, but we'll just use n and lambda for the time being. The survival function, which is the one we're going to use, the cumulative distribution function and the density function are as follows. So we're actually going to use this in the second part here in question two, but for now, this is what we need here, this part here, okay? This part here is what we are particularly interested in here, okay? So what we're going to do is look at, break that down and see if we can get values for n. We have a value for n there. That'll give us a hint there for n and also a value for lambda. Okay, so e to the minus lambda t. So we have minus 0.2x, e to the minus 0.2x. Okay, so that means that lambda is going to be equal to 0.2. We'll come to that shortly, actually. I'm going to step in my head myself a little bit. Just what I've done down here, I've re-expressed the function in terms of x, but just for the sake of simplicity, what I've done is I've just amended it to the survival function, okay, and which is essentially 1 minus this, so just essentially just uh, take out the 1 and the minuses, okay. Now, you notice here we have the highest power of x is x squared, okay, so this corresponds to n minus 1, 2, corresponds to n minus 1. So the highest power of x is 2. That means n minus 1 is 2. That clearly means n minus, or n is equal to 3. Okay, so this is our two parameters of the gamma distribution. The shape parameter n equals 3 and the rate parameter lambda equals 0 0.2. So that's everything we need. Just as a quick remark, actually, these... Um, equations work on the basis that a parameter value of n is an integer. Now you see the thing about the gamma distribution is that it doesn't have to be an integer necessarily. If it's a real number, it there is a solution for it, but it's it, it involves some very obscure mathematics. Okay, well not obscure, but for an undergraduate it would be very obscure. Okay, well n is an integer, we have these summations which make life easier, relatively easy. Okay, now, uh, just as a sort of quick remark, when n is equal to 1, k factorial, or sorry, k is equal to 1, k factorial is 1, and lambda times t to the power of k is uh, 0 0.2 times x to the power of k, which is uh, 1, so x to the power of 1 divided by 1, so that work checks out. When k is equal to 2, we have 2 factorials divided by 2. So 0 0.2 times t squared is 0 0.04 x squared down here. But we divide that by 2, so that's where we get that 0 0.02. So it checks out that it is the gamma distribution, okay? So that's good. So clearly, lambda equals 0 0.2. So this is our survival function here. And there we have it again. Okay, just piece it all together. It's 1 minus the cumulative distribution function, and we are asked in, about a question that is denominated 
in terms of the survival function in a year in which the annual rainfall is above 30 inches determine the probability that the rainfall is above 20 inches determine the probability that the rainfall is above 30 inches so we've got two calculations to work out where x is equal to we're going to use this expression here okay and we're going to let x equal to 20 and we're going to let x equal to 30 we work them both out for x equal to 20 x equal to 20 the probability of x greater than or equal to 20 is 1 plus 0 0.2 times 20 plus 0 0.02 times 20 squared times e to the minus 0 0.2 times 20 okay well that is e to the minus 4 that part there straightforward enough and uh, 1 minus 0 0.2 times 20 that's 4 and 0 0.02 times 20 squared that's 8 so we get 13 times e to the minus 4 we'll just leave it like that because we're going to uh, employ fractions very shortly uh, x greater than or equal to 30 what's the probability of that we do the same sort of thing here we end up with x the probability of x greater than 30 is 25 times e to the minus 6 so same thing again, 1 plus 0 0.2 times 30 plus 0 0.02 times 30 squared times e to the minus 0 0.2 to, uh, times 30, okay, which is e to the minus 6. Okay, so the expression asks us, what is the probability of x greater than or equal to 30 given that x is greater than or equal to 20? Uh, so essentially we just divide one by the other, uh, 25 times e to the minus 6 divided by 13 times e to the minus 4. Uh, working that out, e to the minus 6 divided by e to the minus 4, that gives us e to the minus 2. 25 divided by 13, just leave that alone. A little bit of calculator work, and we get 0 0.2603. And that is the answer. Just as a quick remark, something I skipped, and I shouldn't have, I actually should have stated that uh, x is the rainfall uh, in inches. That's part of the answer. I just I neglected to do part that part myself, but it's something I would not be forgiving in an exam situation. So for the sake of brevity, I'll leave stuff out here, but I really there's some stuff I will not leave out. There we go. We're gonna fall in inches, inches, there we go. Can't spell inches. Just a little statement like that, what X is. Alright, we'll leave it there.